let me talk to your person and i know these readings are your most favorite so my viewers love this when i talk to them um, but remember it is a collective reading take what resonates leave what doesn't so if you want to book a paid private reading the only option will be to email me at divinemothersguidance@gmail.com should be written on the screen or otherwise it should be in the description box of my youtube video and i have to give you the disclaimer i have only one account divine mothers guidance with 100k plus 115k plus followers in tiktok i think now 100 and i don't remember 16 17 18 something like that but yeah definitely more than 100k plus followers and i have only one account divine mothers guidance in tiktok in instagram 2600 plus followers scammers steal my video they will follow you they will offer you a dm reading so and they make profile here and there i do not have telegram i do not have facebook so if you are watching my video in some other platform or some other profile list than these followers and they offer you dm readings please immediately block them do not interact with them saying that so let us see what your person has to say about you you guys drop comments on the comment section what questions you want me to ask to them as a collective reading obviously it cannot be a specific about yourself your situation so as a collective what i can ask them all right so let me see first let us see who is this who is this let me see tell me something about yourself oh the devil energy oh ooh, 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 ooh. okay all right someone um okay i'm very impulsive this person whoever it is very manipulative very very manipulative has some kind of short tempered tendencies like get angry very quickly um lot of toxic traits honey they might have addiction issues addiction doesn't really mean that it's going to be a drug or alcohol it can be toxic behaviors and toxic traits but intelligent very sharp very sharp very knowledgeable very intelligent what they do very smart very smart analytical and also has a tendency of uh, focusing on negative rather than positive it's this can be their toxic traits also like rather than being positive all they some people find solution of every problem this is the kind of a prop person who will find problem in every solution this is the kind of energy i'm picking up on okay um capricorn energy also air sign and um what a sign energy can be present okay say something about tell me something more about yourself four of wands two of shorts and the temperance okay this person wants to tell me more about the situation rather than telling up talking about them they are saying that they believe that you are their divine counterpart and you might have told them they see you or them both equal you might see each other as a divine counterpart it can be twin flame um soulmate whatever you believe in i don't put tags on things because most of the time people misunderstand that those things and toxic any toxic relationship oh that's why twin flame honey twin flame is not toxicity twin flames trigger you to be the better version of you it's a divine love where when you encounter that you feel it in your heart that this is a the same it's me walking in a different body you no matter whatever happens they will they are not toxic they are not abusive they push you they trigger you with their work they do but that is to be, trigger you to show you what inside you is there like that needs to be healed but if any person tells you like oh you're toxic on and off relationship that is your twin flame sorry honey i don't promote that shit so it actually help like you know doesn't help people they get stuck into the feeling like oh that's my twin flame so i have to make it work they will ever change this is a shit show so that's why i don't promote those those words but i definitely will tell you this is some kind of divine counterpart they see you as they are not being able to balance their emotion they are not being able to take any decision very indecisive that's what they are telling me they are telling me i'm i'm going through a lot of indecisiveness i'm not being able to balance out the situation Oh, apart i know i'm hot and cold i know i could not be consistent in this relationship but now i'm torn between like my thoughts i don't know what to do all right all right let me ask you some questions some positive question this time okay uh, what do you like most about my viewer okay so the person whoever watching you consider them as your divine counterpart but what do you like most about them okay tell me what do you like most about them six of pentacles the page of font the star okay this person is telling me the best thing about this person that i feel good that i see infinite potential in this relationship they are showing me the infinity sign here can you see the infinity sign i was not always consistent i was on and off i could not do the same way they did it all the time i could not give the way they did. gave me in gave into this connection but they were always there they are the giver they i know that they gave their heart and soul 
they tried their best to make it work but actually i am the person who is inconsistent i am on and off i could not make it work because i'm scared i'm scared of being very close to them but they always gave they always gave to this relationship um and i feel like this person was sent to me by god or divine i feel a connection with them which i never ever felt with anybody else i don't know what it is to how to define but it is a connection i feel it's like a cosmic connection i can't get them off their mind i am a hot and cold person i am a avoidant person i run away from you know relationships whenever something becomes very serious i run away from that but from them i could not and the good thing about this person even though i pushed them away they were always there for me they always kept on giving i was in the receiving end but they never stopped giving me okay this is what you like about my viewer all right what else you like about my viewer page of pentacle high priestess all right nine of wands again i could not give what they wanted me to give i could not because i am very mature but this person is not immature i could be a child around them but they are very very mature very knowledgeable very very they see you as they see you as a very knowledgeable very you have lot of things you can teach people you are healer you have a healing energy you have a healing aura you are a psychic you might be somebody who is a, a tarot reader you might be somebody who is a witch you might be somebody who is in a um teacher spiritual teacher reiki master something like that they see you as a very divine energy you are connected to god you are a protector they see you that your energy been protecting them you see this this is a page and this is a high priestess it is like i can go to them and i can surrender any problem happens i can go to them i feel like i can surrender to them and i know they will take care of all my problems they will find out how to get me out of this with their positive energy with their knowledge with their power of prayers they always take me out of the situation where i stuck um I, they are like they are so divine i don't know what is all about they i when i look at them i'm i feel like i'm looking at a goddess or god this is their energy and uh, it's like a protector i learned so much from them ooh all right so what is this nine of wands all about it is a blockage now this person seems to be not the same person anymore now they are blocked now they are standing behind the wall they have pulled themselves back i am not seeing that person anymore do you know why they pull back do you know why they pull back why they are behind this um boundary why do you know why wheel of fortune <laughs> justice page of shirts i know i know because i was not doing justice to this connection i was on and off i was immature they are again and again showing them as very mature so this person might be very mature in their behavior in their actions i was very mature i could not give the justice to them it was not a balanced connection i always thought about myself it was always about me it was not a balanced connection i took and i was immature i was doing shit okay on i was doing some kind of online stuff i think this person was doing like liking other people's photo or something online this person was specifically doing which actually triggered you which actually made this connection worse okay so i was doing these things and also i think um they tell telling me like i was doing it i was thinking that that's enough this is how the way of living life but the table has turned now this person has pulled their energy back they don't look at me anymore they're looking happy without me okay so do you understand that you messed it up do you understand that it is your fault do you understand do you regret the situation what you have done yes it did hit me like a tower it did hit me like a tower it transformed something within me when i saw that they are gone from my life so i might not be yet ready to show that but i am still hurting inside i didn't expect that this is going to happen i didn't expect this person will pull their energy such a way that i will lose them and now it is hurting me so so much so so much i prioritize other people other things other situations i didn't prioritize them and i was thinking they will be always around me but now they're gone now this is this is devastating i never expected that this was my fortune they were showing me the accounts uh, they uh, this was my fortune this was my happiness but i messed it up 
I was overconfident. I thought that everything is, but I didn't realize that this is a, this is that there was not solid foundation of my own actions. So I was light, you know, struck by this thunder when they gone. Now I really want to go towards them and clarify everything and bring it back. Will you go forward? Will you go forward and apologize to this person? Will you ask for apology? The fool, the ten of wands, the eight of cups. I want to take a leap of faith towards him. I want to take a leap of faith. I definitely want to go forward. But I am a fool. I don't know whether I will be able to give them the commitment they are still looking for because I am still the same person. Even though the tower did hit me, I realized that I cannot live without this person. But still, I am I'm not completely changed. I'm not ready. I'm still... I'm the, I, I just want to go to them because without them, I'm feeling burdened. I'm feeling alone. I'm carrying too much. I can't carry that much without them. So I need to go and bring them back in my life. But I don't know. This is a very honest confession. This is a very honest confession. This person knowing that they didn't change, but they're telling me that they want to go to you because they need you. But they are seeing that you are walking away. Do you understand that it is selfishness? Do you understand that you are being very selfish? That you want them because you can't carry this burden anymore. Do you really love them? Do you really love them? Do you have love for them? Show me. Do you really love my viewer? King of Pentacle. The Devil. The Four of One. Again, they're telling me the same thing. I, I feel they are my divine counterpart. Some way or the other. I want to, I definitely want to give them some kind of commitment. But I am right now much more focused on my career, my life. There are a lot of things that I need to settle down. And also my ego. I I struggle to express my feelings. It pulls Something pulls me back. I cannot go forward and tell them. I don't want to even... Devil card is also talks about very dark side of the mind. Okay, I have a lot of things hidden inside me. Which doesn't allow me to express my love. It pulls me back. The dark side of me. The, my fear. My belief system about myself. It pulls me back. So I, I know that they are my divine counterpart, I, but I can't take action. But that doesn't make sense. Do you love them? Show me last, last three cards. Do you, like in, in this coming three cards. Do you love them? King of Shorts. Ace of Shorts. The Temperance. Again, uh, again, this person go back to the same logical one. I don't know what to do right now. I don't know how to go forward towards them. I'm still trying to balance my emotion. They are stuck in that zone. They are stuck in that zone. So I believe what is this person is kind of, they get stuck in an emotion. They can't get out of it. The person you are dealing with, if they're stuck in mind in one point, they will be forever going like that, like in a loop. Until unless they come out, it's like an air pocket. So they are not being able to come out of that thought that, oh, they are, I'm, I'm not being able to balance. I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to go forward towards them. I don't know how to balance the emotion. Stuck. But this is the last time I'm asking. How do you, okay, show me. How do you feel, truly feel about my viewer? How you truly feel about my viewer? Okay, what do you leave? King of Cups. There are too many cards. Okay. Five of Cups. And this is two of Shorts. The last thing. Bottom of the deck, seven of cups. Okay. I feel emotional thinking about them. I do love them. I'm the king of cups. At times, I'm king of shirts. But when I truly, if you ask me what I truly feel about them, I feel very emotional. I feel very emotional when I think about them. But I can't take that. That's a kind of, they are not with me. It is a big, big problem for me to accept it. So I get torn between my thoughts. I don't know how to deal with this. So right now, don't ask me how I feel about them. It is a very... A tough feeling to, for me to express. Like I'm so confused. I don't even know how I'm feeling right now. I don't know how to process my emotions properly. I don't know how to acknowledge my feelings properly. So at this moment, if you ask me, I can all tell you that I'm feeling overwhelmed about it. You need to give me some time. I need to make a decision. I don't know what I'm going to do right now. So leave me like that. Okay. Thank you so much. Thanks for being with us. So yes, this is what it is. I believe you have understanding that this person is going through emotional turmoil and they are not very in tune with their emotion they are scared to accept love for you and they know they've been childish in this connection anyways whatever they are feeling they are feeling you keep doing you you move keep moving do your life love yourself self-love is the key take care of yourself all right